Welcome back to Broncos franchise. Of course, last episode we finished off the season with the Miami Dolphins winning the Super Bowl 35 to 31. Uh Tua Tagovailoa was your Super Bowl MVP. Uh Patrick Mahomes being the NFL's MVP. Andy Reid wins coach of the year. Brandon Ayuk wins offensive player of the year. Uh Chris Abrams Drain wins defensive player of the year. Keon Coleman wins Offensive Rookie of the Year, and Chris Abrams Drain wins Defensive Rookie of the Year. Of course, winning those two awards did award him with Superstar X Factor, so we got that activated with him now. Let's take a look at the stats. Uh, it looks like we have the second best offense in the NFL and the worst defense. I think that has to do with um, the time difference between... Um, simulated games and played games, so that might have something to do with it. Bo Nix, of course, leading the quarterbacks in passing yards at 4,900. Uh, comes in at fifth with 38 touchdowns and, of course, has 34 interceptions. Bryce Young at 25, so I don't feel that bad. Jane Daniels, 21. Justin Fields, 20. Matt Stafford, 20. Uh, Josh Jacobs leading with 1,300 rushing yards. Joe Mixon with 17 rushing touchdowns. Saquon Barkley at 15. Christian McCaffrey at 13, tied with Lamar Jackson. Receiving yards, Keon Coleman led that. Right behind him was Ray Rice, or Rasheed Rice, not Ray Rice. Well, and then following him by. 19 was Greg Dulcich, so pretty close there. Uh, Ayuk in the league with touchdowns at 21. Devontae Smith at 19, tied with Amon Ross St. Brown and Rashi Rice. Two behind him at 17. Uh, let's see who led the league in tackles. Is Jordan Hicks and JOK. Sacks, Greg Russo with 20 and a half. Next person was Dexter Lawrence and TJ Watt with 14 and a half, and then Derek Brown and Max Crosby behind him with 13 and 12. Go to interceptions. EJ Speed, linebacker for the Colts, led the league with 10. Jalen Ramsey and Kenny Moore behind him with 7. Mike Hilton, Pat Sertan, and Legereus Need and Denzel Ward all had 6. feel like Abram Strange should be in here, but might just be glitched for some reason. So we'll go check. Look at his stats here. Eight interceptions. So I think he would have been second. I don't remember. You guys saw it. But yeah, he, he had eight interceptions. It was just glitched and he wasn't showing up. Um, look at some of these retirements and then we'll get into... Um, our storylines, Case Keenum, Pat, Patrick Peterson, Harrison Smith, Questenberry, Gibson, Bennett, all retire, Russell Wilson retires, Cameron Hayward retires, Taysom Hill, Demario Davis, Bobby Wagner, a lot of good names to retire in right now, uh, Kyle Van Noy, Josh Johnson, Adam Thielen, Andy Dalton, Justin Houston, Trent Williams, Darius Slay, Clayus Campbell, and Raheem Mostert. Joe Flacco finally calls it quits. Bob Miller, much love, my guy. Enjoy retirement. Lots of big names retiring. It's kind of like sad to think about that. You know, our that most of our generations of football players are finally retiring. Coach, wanted to touch base with you about off-season workouts. What have you got? What do you want to talk to? Oh, God. Well, Javante, we're probably going to let go. I don't know. I'll talk to him. Let's see what we got to talk about. Coach, you told me you wanted to talk to me. 
Going to work on juke moves, stiff arms, my vision as a runner, and trucking defenders. We want to get a speed up. Well, all right. Oh, I guess we're doing John Franklin Myers. I don't even know who the other option was, but hopefully nobody important. It works with me. Alrighty, yeah, hopefully that wasn't anybody else important, because I would have liked to get those upgraded, I guess. Right. I haven't yawned all day until I start recording. Let's talk about the next few months. What is your plan for the upcoming off-season? sure we win the draft that is my plan what does that mean oh boy um i guess draft difference maker 80 plus in the first three that's freaking crazy man all right, go to our re-signing week. Um, I am going to break these videos up in three sections. So this video is pretty much just going to be the free agency section. Uh, Wednesday's video is going to be the draft. And then Friday is going to be preseason. And then Monday, again, is going to be the start of next season. Micah Hyde, we are going to let walk. Uh, I think we're... Pretty much gonna let everybody here walk. Or Adam Troutman. Make sure he goes back. I didn't really think of an excuse for the contract that we made with Miami, but yeah. Okay. J O K. And <laughs> Chase Young. I might just spend the money, dude, and take both these guys. Right outside, we got Baron Browning, but we could move him to left outside linebacker. Chase Young, got Zach Allen, put him on left. Neither one really wants to be here, so that's kind of the main issue here. 25. Oh, if you hear my cats attack each other in the background, don't mind it. They're just playing. One is very vocal. As you can hear. Alright, so. That is a lot of money. I don't even think. Yeah, it does put us at the top. It's like 30 mil a year. Set the top of both of them. Let me see who else is available. Where else we want to spend money, but that pretty much eats up all of our salary. Rashid Shahid wouldn't be bad. For receiver. We are going to trade Sutton. We are going to trade Williams. I am going to take a running back with... Our early pick. Still not sure what our second pick is going to look like, but I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Uh, let's see here. J. 
Jed Wills would be a nice upgrade to the left. Tackle position for us. Tie with the Rams. Hopefully we win that. There's Kendrick Green. Oh, we got Ben Powers. We should be okay there. I know we should be going for offensive line guys, but we got John Franklin Myers on the left. Do we really need Chase Young? I mean, if we get him, we could trade Zach Allen, right? See, now I'm stuck thinking, because what we could do, right? We do need a defensive tackle, too. Javon Kinlaw. Won't be a bad pickup. We could get a Zizo Jalari. Move him to right outside linebacker. Middle linebacker, we get Isaiah Simmons. We don't really need a corner, do we? No, we got Pat, Chris, and Riley. Those. And yeah, Riley Moss ain't the best, but. Right. When you're th the third guy behind those other two, you're, you're chilling, I think. We do need to look for safeties in the draft as well. Marcus May. Could also move Isaiah Simmons to safety if need be. Right. Uh, remove these, do a little bit of rearranging. I'll let you guys know what I end up with. Alright, so this is who we are going after with this first evaluation here is JOK, uh, Terrell Dodson, Zizo Jalari, Bobby Brown, and Walker Little. We can always move him or Mike McLean G2 left tackle if needed. Looks like we did get JOK. And Terrell Dodson, we're still waiting on Bobby Brown and Walker Little. Uh, let's renegotiate this because it looks like the Bears went up a little bit. Do that. Looks like we're good there. And what's the other guy I went for but didn't get? We go for Javon Kinlaw too. Let's show a base offer out there, see what he thinks. Oh, Aziz Ojolari is who I went with. Oh, he didn't like that. Alright. Well, at least we got Terrell Dodson. Isaiah Simmons went to uh, the Rams. I don't know why I blank so hard on that. Maybe we can try and get Eric Kendricks pretty cheap. 
wouldn't be a bad uh, veteran for us. Five and two. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kind of want... Could go Caden Stearns. You could take him again for our free safety. Only got five... Well, eight mil left, but... All right, who are we waiting on? These four. All right, still waiting on those two. Uh, Chase Young going to the Chargers. Cooper to the Vikings. Uh, let's see here. Chargers making a lot of moves, looks like. They even got Rashid Shahid. So Odell contract here. Uh, let's see, who else was I looking at? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Still weighing on little. Looks like Washington's trying to get him too. Let's do low risk, see what that gets us to. Alright. Should win that one. Javon Kinlaw goes to Cincinnati. Chris Barnes might be another good pickup for us at middle. Let's see here. Try and get like a couple older guys. We can always move them around too. Go to the second week. All right, and with the weak sim, it looks like we did get Walker Little and Shaq Leonard. Uh, we're still waiting on Eric Kendrick, so we'll see if he signs at all with us. Uh, Odell went to the Raiders. Kind of want like a... I have just a bigger receiver that we can go with Michael Thomas here. Hopefully he's interested. Looks like he did sign. Eric Kendrick just don't like us. Uh, Mock Draft 5 is out. Let's take a look at that. Of course, they have us taking Dennis Hayden yet at three. And Kyle Pearson at nine. I am going to have to look into this class a lot more, I think. 
course, we have private workouts coming up soon. I think... It's after this week. Should be after free agency, I think, right before the draft. Yep, right here. Well, let's take a look here and see who we want to do our private workouts with. Of course, I favored a majority of my players. And. Actually, I'm going to go through, adjust our lineup quick, see what we need. See how this is looking. Need a center. Need defensive line. Need linebackers, middle linebackers specifically, and free safety. Could also get a corner. Move him to safety, put him in the slot. All that. Yeah, really just offensive line, defensive line. Safety. I think we'll finish up Clint Rollins here. Hopefully he's a true number one talent. So maybe we can get him with our second first round pick. see take a look at Stark and Smart those could be our defensive tackle players we want to look at That might be what we end up doing. We are probably going to end up training up for this guy, J.R. Forden. He looks really good. Mantra St. Clair. I also really just like that name. Yeah, we'll go with Clinton Rollins, Devin Smart, and Sheriff Starks. But, take a look here. And yeah, this guy just kind of looks like a freak all around. 4-3-4. Four, four. Not a bad 40 time. 10-5 broad jump. He's got elite Jumping, great speed. A injury, a juke, a carrying. So he should, in theory, never get injured. JR Forden, take a look at him. He's got elite change of direction, great acceleration, great jumping, elite speed. So he's going to be a nice speed rusher coming off the edge for us. A play rack, A pursuit, B hit power, B man coverage, A tackle. Let's 
St. Clair. He's only 21. Got elite acceleration. Doesn't look too crazy. Decent hit power, decent man coverage. He's got some power. Can I adjust this? No. I want to like move players. Did I not already choose my players? What is going on? Okay, we should be good. I think it just glitched. All right, so next week is the draft. Let's make some trades here. All right. Love this man. No trade offers for him. Oh, my God. All right, well, I'm going to search through all these teams and figure out who needs a freaking running back, and I'll be right back. All right, might have been a dumb trade, but... We gave up Javante Williams, um, a mid fourth round pick, um, to the Saints for Penning, uh, Trevor Penning, left tackle, and a early third round pick. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it didn't really look like anybody needed a running back, but Kamara's on its last year of his deal, and just kind of seemed like the best fit right there. Uh, let's see who wants Sutton. I might combine him with that third and try to move up for a second. Not sure yet. It's interesting that they give me Quay Walker. I have to go do some digging, see who needs receivers again. Honestly, Green Bay might be the best choice for him, but could go pair him up with Jerry Judy again. Wouldn't be a bad fit in Arizona. Not going to give him to any of our division rivals. Uh, Jahan Dotson is no longer on that team. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I would prefer to give him to an NFC opponent. Atlanta wouldn't be a bad spot. Uh, they're negative 14. Mill, never mind. Put him up with Amon Ra. Let's go with Green Bay. Let's see what they got for draft picks. Let's see, oh, those are late picks, huh? Could go with the third. Let's try and get two thirds for him. A third this year and a third next year. That'll do it. Sutton for two thirds, a third this year, and a third next year from Green Bay. And I think those were the only moves I wanted to make. Obviously, I love both of them, but right now. Kind of tearing the team apart, not fully, but yeah, just doing what we got to do to make this team better, man. Might give up on Zach Allen. And then move Nick Bonito down there. Yeah, let's do Zach Allen and... Uh, Troutman, 
So we got him back. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anybody want Jonah Ellis too? Take these three off my hands. I'll be back once I find a trade for him because it's probably going to take a hot minute. Alright, we made a move with Tampa Bay for them. We got a fourth rounder this year and a third rounder in 2027. Probably could have gotten a little bit more for him to be honest, but... It is what it is. All right. In the draft, we are pretty much looking for. Here, take that running back. Need a center. We need. Defensive tackle and safety. We're going to move Nick Bonito to left end. JOK Baron Brownian. Move Drew Sanders up to second in the death chart. Let's try that again. Got Sanders second in the depth chart. Move Marvin Mims up. Yeah, we're looking set. Draft should be good. And let's take a look at the free agency recap here. Of course, I'm pretty sure we got the best, I wouldn't say deal, but steal. Uh, in JOK, uh, learn my lesson. If I'm making trades, do it during free agency because then all the teams have cap space. But yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. I will see you next week as we head into the NFL draft. Hopefully we come out on top in that one and get some amazing players to dominate with next year and yeah that'll do it for this so guys i will see you in the draft on wednesday till then stay cool peace